grapevines today. One of these items is worth more than the rest of these items. But which one? Don't throw away the small things that you don't know exactly what they are because they could be worth a lot more money than you think they are. Which one of these items is worth the most? Well, let's find out. This is a shift kicker from Mattel who makes Hot Wheels. This is from 1978. See, this is a Capri. Now, this particular car it looks just like the Mustang because it's the Mercury version of the Mustang. All they do is change the headlights, the taillights, slap a Mercury badge on it, charge you a little bit more. How this works is you pull these back. There's a little shift thing. It is a manual. You shift it, and it drives away. So these these aren't these aren't as valuable as Hot Wheels. They are cool. Some in the box. How much do you think that is worth? And I did find these little a couple DS games. They are both Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is really hot right now for the Switch for any game system. These particular items, just these little tiny things, easy to send. Let's see, so far, that is worth the least than this. Now, Pikachu! Everyone knows Pikachu. Everyone loves Pokemon. This is probably something that you got. See, it's a bouncy ball. He's in there. How he got in there, how he's breathing, I don't know. This has probably cost a kid 50 cents in a machine that they got at one time. Now, you can see... That Pikachu is in good shape because he's encased in this plastic. It still bounces. It's cool. Anything Pokemon can be worth money. Where would he go in line here? Well, he's going to go right in the middle. If he doesn't roll away. Stay, Pikachu. Now, this was a little had a little trouble finding. It's interesting. It's metal. It's about two and a half inches tall. It is by Marvel. It is Spider-Man, obviously. Spider-Man with a giant boxing glove. And it looks like he might be at an Ozzy concert. How much could that be worth? It's hard to say because this is hard to find because it's strange. I think he's going to go in the middle here. Pikachu, you have to move over. Oh, there goes Pikachu. Oh, there goes Spidey. Anyway, we'll just hold those right there. Now I have these. These are Bale Warriors, uh, Bale Bay Battle. They're what they are, tops. And you'd have a dome, and you would you would put your um, thing in here. Spin those, spin those really, really fast. And then these guys are awesome. They would fight each other. Fight each other to the death, or until they went down. Or they'd be kicked out of there, or I doubt that they would ever fall like that. But these are Bay, oh, Bay Battle, Bay Warriors. Kind of interesting, these. There's kind of a dragon theme. And you've got this guy, who I'm not sure what he's doing. But he looks like he has a lot of fire. Kids, don't play with fire. Now those... Now, Pikachu has really rolled away. He screwed this whole thing up. But we're going to move these down. And the... Oh! The car gets to move over. Bail Blats go here. Come on, Animal Crossing. Where'd you go? All right. Now, I've, I'm down to, I'm down to two, three things. Now, one of these is worth more than the rest of these. All three of these are worth more than these things. I'm a little... Stay, stay. Oh, Pikachu. This, this is from 1996. This is Series A Nintendo Collector Pins of Zelda. Now, Zelda, you'd think just a pin? This was bought at Woolworths, which is probably just as hard to find as a 1996 Zelda pin. These are collectible. Anything with Zelda on it is going to be collectible. This is kind of cool, and this is actually going to go right here. That's what we have so far. What in the world is this thing? 
got this thanks to Nate. Guy who came in, he said, Oh, that's Yu Gi Oh! Oh, that's Yu Gi Oh! He said it represents the Egyptian gods. You can see he has three different color eyes there. He's got a blue one, a red one, a yellow one. This is the winged dragon of Ra, known as the winged god dragon of Ra in the Japanese version. Um, the character version, This they have cards of this. This guy is really, really tough because he looks pretty awesome. See, he's got the little heads there. He, he's got heads on his wings. This is from Mattel. It's from 96. And it has the maker of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, his initials on the bottom. This thing goes right here. Now we have all these things. We've just, these are bottom of the bag things. Things that you don't think of. I didn't even look a couple of these up. I thought they were cool, but I didn't realize that they could be worth money. Now this thing. This thing is actually a pin for someone's service. When you work a place for 10, 20 years, sometimes they thank you by paying you each week, and then they also thank you by giving you a little pin. Now this particular pin is for 10 years of service. That symbol there, H, stands for Halliburton. So they worked for Halliburton for 10 years, and they got this little tiny pin to put on their coat or whatever they want to put it on. And as you can see, if you can't see, it says 10 karat gold. So this little tiny piece, I do have a scale here. We'll turn it on. That weighs almost 2 grams. 2 grams of 10 karat gold. Not 24 karat, just 10 karat. Two grams of 10 karat gold. Where should this go? Where should this go? Little tiny piece. You can find these a lot. You have to look. Actually, that's going to be the most expensive. That's about 50 bucks in gold right now. $47 as of this taping. This particular guy, I didn't... I found him in the bottom of a box with a bunch of other things. And someone was able to tell me who he was. I looked him up. Last one sold for $42. Why? I don't know. I don't care. I am just glad that I... Oh, hopefully he can stand up. He is very powerful. Mistake. This Zelda also can be in right around the $20 to $30 range. If you're willing to wait for this. It is on the card. It does have... It looks like someone spent $2 on it. So that's like 100 times your money. Animal Crossing, because it's very popular, these are selling for about $20 loose. $20 for this little tiny thing. Pikachu, priceless. Pikachu, perfect, awesome, cool. About 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Someone probably paid a quarter for it. These were getting down into three, four dollars. These are things that maybe you want to sell if you have a store or if you want to trade with someone. But this just kind of looks cool. The Ozzy Spider-Man with the boxing glove. It's like Mike Tyson, Ozzy Osbourne, Ronnie James Dio superhero. I, I think that can appeal to a lot of people. These really don't sell for that much. You know, five, ten dollars if you can get them for them. You find the collector for them. It is a Capri. It is cool. It does work. And it is a manual shift. These were hard to find because there's a lot of different battlers and different things and they came in the ring people had a lot of fun with these but right now these aren't worth as much they're cool they look like dragons they are hard to display but they are cool so little tiny things can be worth money gold just little tiny pieces of gold can be worth a lot of money if that that only weighed 1.9 grams and that's 10k that's like 39 percent gold 24 karat of course would be 100 percent gold this guy, he is an Egyptian. He's like three gods. So he, he brings some money. Zelda, anything with Nintendo, Nintendo, Pikachu, Marvel, Hot Wheels, and these guys. Thanks for watching. Look in the bottom of the bag. Get yourself an eyepiece to find out if you have gold. And weigh it up. Find out how much it's worth. Take the time. Or I'll send Spidey. The Aussie Spidey Mike Tyson. After you.